What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And I'm doing this blog to let you know that NBA Youngboy and Lil Durk are really true enemies, man. Uh, I just got done talking to some NBA people, man. I'm not going to say their names, but uh, I got a connection with some guys in the NBA camp. And I also got a lot of connections with people in OTF. You know, I didn't interview with Hypno Carlito, uh, Wook. Uh, I talked to BD Twin a few times. I interviewed um, Duty. I didn't talk to a lot of these guys. And uh, I'm telling you, it's a beef between NBA Youngboy and Lil Durk. They enemies, man. I heard they had a phone conversation a little while ago. But it looked like that shit didn't get nowhere. Lil Durk is linking himself with Fredo Bang now. Fredo Bang is one of the NBA Youngboy's worst enemies, you know. It's a lot of deaths between Fredo Bang and, like... Uh, NBA young boy Kemp. These guys are enemies. You know, a lot of people is accusing NBA young boy of getting Fredo homie G Money killed. So the fact that Dirk Lincoln with him, bringing him on stage, and now they got a video finna drop. This is what you call a silent uh, threat. You get what I'm saying? At first, a lot of us thought it was just Quando Rondo and Lil Dirk and shit like that because of the King Von situation. But Lil Dirk looking at it bigger, he feel like NBA Youngboy had something to do with this. I'm hearing NBA Youngboy really don't get no fucking you know, some tough guy shit. I'm hearing he trying to stay away because he got a lot of cases he was involved in. Then he got a lot of kids. But I'm hearing he heard about the money put on Quando Rondo head. So I'm hearing it's like a shoot on sight when they see Lil Dirk. Uh, if I'm Lil Dirk, I'd be just riding around in them bulletproof cars. You got to understand. This guy that single-handedly made himself the face of violence in Chicago. Anything that happened in Iraq, people are putting Lil Durk face to that shit. NBA Youngboy really don't like the threats that he's getting. People acting like they banning his artists from shows and throwing subliminal disses. But 600 Breezy really pissed off NBA Youngboy when he was acting like he was riding through Louisiana and shit like that. Because at the end of the day, what happened to Quando Rondo... And uh, King Von is between them. Somehow they put NBA Youngboy in this shit. I guess because of the 4KT shit or whatever the hell it is. But I'm hearing that Lil Durk and NBA Youngboy is in a real, real beef. You got to understand, these are two of the biggest artists in the rap game. They going to see each other eventually. Whether it's at the Lab Awards, the BET Awards, the Music Awards, uh, vacationing or just out at a club or something. These guys going to see each other. And I'm telling you, it's going to be on site. I don't know if they're going to get the shooting, if they're going to get the fighting or whatever. But I'm telling you now, when NBA Youngboy see Lil Durk, it's on. When Lil Durk see NBA Youngboy, it's on. Okay? So, I'm going to keep you guys updated on this. I've been getting information uh, left and right. I'm actually going to drop an exclusive phone interview. I might be dropping that later today, if not tomorrow. A lot of people have been asking me about phone interviews. They want to hear what's going on in Chicago. It's a lot of murders, a lot of deaths. FBG Duck then passed away. Vaughn then passed away. Trey Savage then passed away. So they want me to go to Chicago and holler at an OG, somebody who real respected, someone who everybody kind of get a hit to. So I'm going to try to see what I can do with that later on. But I want y'all to subscribe to my channel so you can make sure you get that exclusive phone interview. It's the homie truth.